Hi everyone. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a menu to the sidebar here, which is the left sidebar uh, without a drop down. Now, as you can see here, you have all these appearance uh, menu, right? With their sub menus open or expanded, right? There's no drop down here. Now, how to do this? We're going to use a menu block module and I will write the menu block module, all right? So first of all, let's start with, um, okay, I'll close this side. That's the final side where you can see. Now from here, we are going to install a module called menu block module. There are a lot of videos on YouTube. You can uh, double check menu block, how to use it. So we are not going to discuss in detail about this module, right? So basically menu block, it gives a lot of advanced features um, for configuring your menu, right? So we are going to scroll down to install this module. I've already installed so make sure you install this module as well. Now let's go to module and turn on the module. Right, menu, block, scroll down, turn this on, right, and save this configuration. Okay, let's go to structure, block, add menu block, right. So give it a title, maybe we can give it a title called sidebar menu as well as for the admin title. I'll put them the same. Now there are advanced options as well. So we are going to keep to a basic options and you can also pull any menu you like. So we will keep to a main menu, starting level. So there are lots of things you can do with this module. Okay, we are not going to discuss here in depth all right, so region settings we set to um, primary, which is our left sidebar region. Now, for the pages, we're going to show all pages except those listed. This mean we're going to show this block on all pages except the front page, right? Or the other way, you can also only the list of pages. You can list them all here, right? So we use the first one, all pages except those listed except front page. Right, make sense. Save it. Now scroll down, double check. Make sure your sidebar menu is at the top here. So you can sort it out by dragging all this handle. Right. So scroll down and save blocks. Go to the front page and take a look. Surely it's not shown on the front page as we configured. So let's go to one of the node. Yep. All right. So you can see this is a drop down menu. So if you do not want, you want to remove this one, we are using, a, we are going to overwrite a theme for this menu block, right? So let's uh, turn on our editor. And first of all, let's go to look for the theme menu link function. So we open include folders, includes folder, and look for the menu.inc, all right? menu.inc file and we search it search the function called theme menu link function all right this function is very short it's not very long so you just copy the whole function control c and back to your sub theme we open sites all themes bootstrap sub theme and open this template.php, all right? So the code you see here is actually one of the video, earlier video that we applied. You can leave it alone if you haven't, um, you know, watched that video, it's okay. So what you can is that you paste it over here, all right? The next thing to do is this theme, we change it to your own theme name, if you are different from us. So my theme name is, what's the name name? A theme name is bootstrap underscore sub theme. Make sure it's correct. Bootstrap sub theme. All right. So at the end of this menu link, we're going to apply to the menu block module. So you control shift double underscore two underscore 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 and put menu block. Okay. So you have underscore underscore menu underscore block i will include a link to this documentation all right you can check it out this doc documentation 
this documentation for menu block. Down below there are theme function where you can refer to. That's how I managed to find this theme function and I will write. So I'm using this one. Okay, you have a theme, menu link, and apply to menu block module. You can even narrow down to a particular menu block that you generated, you created. All right, so it can go even further down. So at the moment, I apply to all the menus, whichever menu block generate. Okay, back to our site. Um, go to editor here and remember to save it. Okay, we save it. Now, back to our site, flash catches. Right, okay, and now you can see it's back to the original, uh, what do you call, HTML structure. If you inspect element, I can see, all right, right, okay. Maybe this is not very clear. We can indent it, perhaps we can target this UL, right, press here, and uh, we target the UL above second level and above all right so you can uh, narrow down to a site okay and padding left you have a 10 all right as you can see from your right hand side here you will see as you indent okay. so you can style as you wish all right so after that, I will copy the whole link, he whole CS here, and back to editor, open CS file, can paste it over down here, and uh, okay, give it a command, we call it um, site bar menu, okay. Now back to our site, save it, back to our site and uh, refresh. Okay, great. So we have a sidebar menu without the drop down by using a menu block module and I will write the menu block module. Okay, so hope you learned something from here. Do remember to subscribe to our channel for more video to come. Have a good day.